chops it out the center zone. Leckhart beats Gorin to it. Here's Gorin. He ends it. Lee Gorin puts the nail in it. Hey, goalies, goalies, Peter, Fiends. Come, hey, I just want to do, uh, I want to take, take this zone, and I just want to do the drop and cross a couple times, just so you guys can feel it, hey? So you just be an out, hey, you out up that side, you're going to be an out up that side, okay? So you're going to be left side here, got it? Carl Gehring arrived on campus as a freshman in 1997 and quickly became a fixture in the UND hockey family. You know, I was so fortunate to get the opportunity to come play here um, as a student athlete and um, I guess the biggest thing that sticks out to me is uh, just my fun time with my teammates um, and the great atmosphere of the games too. Um, just something so special about uh, the community here and, and the games and um, was just a blast, blast to be here and play and uh, we were fortunate to have some success as well. One of the things that uh, you know we look for is investing in yourself on a daily basis, and uh, you know his path to become a coach. Uh, you know it's very evident that he took a lot of pride in it. He uh, had to go outside the comfort zone to do that, meaning that you know uh, he retired uh, uh, from playing, came back and worked the uh, being director of the hockey academy, uh, helped us out as far as being a volunteer assistant. Then, then knew that you know we wanted to be a full-time coach and, and knew they had to probably move away to do that. And you know he went with Tampa's organization, went to Syracuse, and, and had to wear a lot of different hats and work extremely hard to do that. So uh, Dewey noted that he did that and uh, and, and it's made him a, a tremendous coach right now. And we're glad to have him back. You know he not a, you know he was always known as the goalie coach kind of thing, but he's much more than that. And uh, and he brings a lot to the table with our group. Back on campus as a first-year assistant coach. He hopes to make an immediate impact on the coaching side, rather than in the net. A little bit longer. Let's get a little work in here, okay? You know, again, uh, for me, it's really trying to help each individual player find their best game and, and really try to set some high standards for our team. Um, it, it, hopefully, I'm able to do that with uh, quite a few players. But uh, again, we, we've got such a great group here, and um, really comes down to you know, getting as much as we can out of the group, uh, but then individually helping each player uh, find how they can uh, be their best. Um, and, and for me, I think that's uh, how you build a good team. Uh, I think immediately, you know, you, you look at the goalies and that's a given, right? That's immediate, you know, as far as the, the extra work and the detail you, you lays with the goaltenders, but you know, you know, running the defense from the power play, different things like that. He helps push the bar here for accountability and the way we do things on a daily basis. You know, I think it's one thing too that, you know, he's an alum, he, he, he's been under some coaches and, and successful teams and programs that, that, uh, that had a lot of success here. So he has that background in, in his, uh, in his, in his uh, repertoire to make sure that he translates that to the players. And uh, at the end of the day, like you said, he, uh, he's a guy that gets uh, the most out of uh, our group on a daily basis. Right away, right away, stop on it! Good, good, out to the blue, out to the blue, finish! Each of the current coaches being UND alums helps drive traditions for this current generation of players. I think it's very instrumental and I think it's pivotal in the fact that uh, uh, there's a lot of good players and coaches came before us and, and I'm not saying that any other program, any other person outside of our program wouldn't be a good fit. But all I know is when you live it, breathe it, sweat it uh, for on a daily basis here as far as what it takes to have success and, and, and what you need to do to be team first, 
And again, we use the word culture very strongly here, and we have a very strong culture. And, and to have, you know, guys like Carl and Dane and myself to, to, to go through that as a player and now as a coach, that's a big deal to, to make sure that we uh, leave this program in a better place when we do leave. Um, it, it's a blast. Um, again, we're, we're so fortunate to have such a great atmosphere, such a great arena here, and um, <clears throat> just to feel the energy as a coach and, and be involved with uh, be involved with the play and, and impacting the game, um, it, it's just a great feeling. So uh, for me to be a part of it, again, just a great honor and a great opportunity.